Mwah. Welcome back to my channel, Libra. Thank you so much for being here. This is going to be your love reading for January 4th through the 16th, okay? Thank you so much for those of you guys who are returning to my channel. Thank you so much for your kind words, for all your support. Um, don't forget to like, share, subscribe my video. Hit that notification bell so you know when my videos are uploaded. Also, um, for those of you who are new to my channel, mwah, thank you so much for joining me. Um, I really appreciate you guys being here and trying me out. I am a psychic medium. I read tarot intuitively. I start with the channeled message and then I move on to the description of the cards. I am clairvoyant. I am clairaudient. I am a medium. I do offer mediumship based readings, you guys. Those are priced a little bit differently, so go ahead and ask me about the pricing. Um, I have all my information for a personal reading in the description box, so check me out. If you would like to donate to my channel, you guys, I would prefer if you guys check out my tarot wish list, just so I can bring you guys new decks to the channel, okay? But if not, a donation is great too. I appreciate any, any time you spend on this channel here. Mwah, thank you. So... Here we go, Libra. We're in 2020. It's official. We are we are in a new year. So, I am feeling a lot of you guys this these first two weeks are really about coming to the realization that some of you guys are walking away from a fire sign, a Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, cross watchers. If that doesn't resonate for you and your Libra, please don't worry about it, okay? This is only for the Libras who know that things have come to an end between you and a fire sign. Things have been slowly clearing out for you, okay? And I, I'm almost getting a sense that you're kind of ready to start a new chapter in your life. You're kind of ready to let this go. This, I'm hearing, has been a karmic cycle. This has been someone you definitely have had some karma with. And I do, I am getting a vision of a circular motion here, like of a wheel turning. So this has been a constant loop. It's been a continuous loop of back and forth energy of, of this person really showing interest and then they ghost or they show interest and then they just completely are really rude to you. So it's like you've reached your capacity of patience, okay? You really have. You're you're at your ends with like you're just like we're either going to make this happen or we're just gonna go our separate ways. So yeah. Moving in to January fourth through the sixteenth, you are making a decision. You are done being in this stalemate. You're done feeling like you're an option. For some of you, you guys have been on the fence because this person may have been juggling a third party. You're done feeling as if you don't matter. A lot of you guys are in your power. It's not that you weren't in your power before. It's just now you're really seeing clearly. This, is, this new year is bringing a new cycle for you. And you're really, you're really really reaching a deeper understanding of your heart space. And you're no longer holding a loyalty to people who are not loyal to you. Libra, in love, please give me a vision. Archangel Michael. Yeah. Okay, so <clears throat> I am getting, <laughs> this is going to be a month of clearing for my Libras. This is no joke. Some of you guys are dealing with, so some of you guys are de currently dealing with a Capricorn Taurus Virgo. Strong Capricorn energy is coming through for my Libras. You and this Capricorn have been at it. There's something about you guys that you guys have been clashing and I really see some strong ultimatums the beginning of the month. The first two weeks, you're like hitting the ground running. You are setting the tone. You are literally asking for a specific 
I'm hearing a title. You're asking for direction. You're like, what are we doing here? Some of you guys have been living with this person. This person has been avoiding a commitment is what I'm hearing. Or you have been letting them benefit off you financially. Or, or, or there's some kind of finances or home or home situation here. Okay. Um, you've been letting this person stay with you or you have been kind of accommodating this person while they're off like trying to figure themselves out and a lot of you guys are done with this shit you're like what are we doing so I'm hearing ultimatums okay again cross watchers don't get triggered yeah absolutely look five of cups you're making decisions that are not going to be easy this is not going to be easy for you Libra this is not an easy situation you want your partnerships you want your earth sign you want your fire sign but this this cycle of wanting without receiving is coming to an end Libra you have reached your capacity for this BS and you are looking at a happy home you want a happy home so again a lot of you guys are dealing with home life situations people you've been in long-term relationships with twin flame energies um, the, the kind of connections that really represent home, okay? It's really going to be prominent for you this January. I'm hearing security. A lot of you guys are really just wanting to feel more secure. You're wanting to secure your energy. You're wanting to secure your family. Some of you guys have children. And you really just want to bring a sense of home. Like you want balance. You want... You know, you want to feel respected. You want to feel honored. You want to receive the love that you've been giving. Libra, January 4th through the 16th. Yeah, I wasn't joking. So I wasn't, listen, okay, I'm channeling your energy and I'm, I, I'm literally having this inner dialogue with my spirit guide because the downloads that I'm getting right now are very negative and I don't like sharing negativity, okay? Um, I could call it real, I could call it whatever, but it's like I'm almost, sometimes I'm almost like doubting, like is it really this bad? Like, because I'm getting these downloads and it, it feels like January is going to be a month of no bullshit. Like you have reached your the end of your patience libra so yes my spirit guides the channeled messages i'm receiving they're not negative but they're energies of you being done this home life some of you guys are really going to shake things up in the home life you no longer want to put up with someone who is going to lie to you or who's going to be in and out of your life you guys want permanency you want someone who will be permanent in your life you want someone who is going to bring some kind of value to your life you're no longer allowing this casanova energy you're done i am having a vision kind of moving back to the fire sign Expect some conflict around a fire sign because this fire sign, you know, I feel like you guys have chosen to move on from this person. You're going to decide to disconnect and right when you disconnect, they're going to come back and I feel a lot of you guys are going to be making a choice to move on with someone else. This person is going to lose it. There is going to be a fight about you choosing someone else. But where were they when you were trying to make them the one? That's for who it's for, okay? It doesn't mean all my all my fire signs are in the wrong here. I'm not saying that. This is only for the Libras who know this is true. So the home life is going to be key for you in January. You're trying to clear the BS 2020 so you can start a new cycle. You want a new cycle. You're ready. Some of you guys have been dealing with a Gemini, strong Gemini energy, um, or another Libra, Aquarius. What's coming in for love? This is only for the person, this is only for the Libras who have been dealing with an air sign who 
has been playing it cool. This person has been a friend to you. This person has been playing it pretty casual with you. I want you guys to really um, give this person a chance in January because they, they like you. They like you a lot. They're interested in you, especially if they're a Gemini. I am getting a strong interest towards you. But they've been trying to play it cool because they see that you've been going through so much. So they're just trying to let you handle it. But they really like you. Okay, Libra? This person, they like you. But they've been in a friend zone with you. Yes. Expect, expect... Wow, you guys, I don't want to say this, but the, I can't deny my intuition. Some of you guys are going to be filing from divorce from this fire sign if you've been married to this person. You're done. You're like, I'm about to take my fine ass. Like, this is, this is Libra. Look at how fine you look. You looking good, okay? It doesn't matter if you're feminine or masculine. You are in your power, your divine feminine power and you're done with this person you're like nah we're not gonna do this anymore mm -mm. you're not gonna benefit you're not gonna benefit and reap the benefits of my rewards my hard-earned money a lot of you guys are mothers a lot of you guys have children you've been busting your ass and then for this person to just be like give me I don't think so Who's coming in for Libra? So I really feel like you're even going to have this air sign really help you through this. Like this person is very supportive of you. They are, I'm hearing on call for you. Like they really like you. So Libra, don't, don't miss out on a good opportunity. You know, don't force it either, but don't miss out on some good, right? Who's coming in for Libra? Yeah, some of you guys have been feeling so stressed out about your connections. That it, it's been like throwing you off completely. Like you are in some deep like shadow work energy right now. Trying to, you know, get yourself right with this, this situation. Absolutely. What did I say? My intuition just called that you guys have been going through a deep, deep, purge emotional purge because you've been dealing with having to a lot of you guys there's an issue with father here this just channeled channeled message this just came in there is a representation about this relationship that reflects your relationship with the father the masculine not even the feminine here some of you guys it's the feminine but for me this is masculine my intuitive vision is that you guys have been really working through a lot of your issues with the father energy some of you guys had a father who was very abusive verbally sorry this is a trigger for some um you can click off if it's too much but you guys are starting to realize how this is really really like taking a toll on your psychological like balance your psychological health so you guys are really when you're triggered, Libra, I want you to go back to your relationship with the father or the masculine. This is where your answers are. This is where all of this drama and chaos or why you keep going back to the same cycle, this is where it's coming from. If you want those answers. Some of you guys aren't ready or some of, some people just aren't ready to dive in that deep and that's okay. But for those of you who want to dive in that deep, that is your answer, okay? So what is the advice? Let's finish off with the advice card here. You're clearing to make something new, you guys. All right? The advice is to take a leap of faith in a new direction and let go. Let go of this tradition. Some of you guys are really, 2020 is going to be about challenging your tradition, so you guys can clear this karma. Casually dating for some of you is actually going to help you clear some of this karma from a past life. Don't be afraid to make those changes, okay? Mwah. Thank you so much. Let me know if it resonates. I'll see you soon. Bye.